YouTube, this is Girl Guitar, aka Lefty Strings, and I'm coming at you guys with an update on my life. As of today, it is February the 21st, and we are one day closer. Okay guys, like, today was a very crazy busy day. One thing I did do was I went over the whole notes on the guitar in my head, but one thing that I did do, I did more of that was different, was I'm able to identify more of the sharps and flats on the guitar. So let's say like, I know where like B flat and A sharp is by finding the placements on the guitar. So as I was saying before, finding the placements, the whole notes on the guitar. So when you're first starting out, find out different places where like A can be, different places where like B can be, different places on the guitar like where C can be. That's like something really easy that you can do, um, just finding out the different places. Then, once you're able to identify all of the whole notes on a guitar, you are able to identify then the sharps and flats. Like I know, for instance, but on the 11th fret, that's where all the sharps and flats are for the 10th string note. So, like for instance, for me, so we know E is on the 7th fret of the A string. So E flat, because there's no E sharp, because E and F, there's nothing in between. So E flat would be on the 6th fret on the A string, and A sharp would be on the 6th fret of the A string. So it's just being able to identify the whole notes on the guitar, and that's how you're able to identify the flats and sharps. So it's levels to it. Ooh. Okay, guys, so another thing that happened to me today was... Okay, guys, so I told you the bad news on, what, day two of my vlogs that I wasn't able to pay for it because my paycheck don't drop till March the 9th, and I hate the fact that I have to wait. But I decided to take matters in my, to my own hands. Like, what else can I do? So I called Guitar Center and Sam Ash Stores. And they were like, yeah, we do, you know, we do rent out guitars. So I was going to rent out a guitar until, you know, my check came and I was able to pay for it fully. Because the guitar I want is affordable guitar, so it's not that much anyway. But unfortunately, they did not have any left-handed guitar models to rent out. Guitar Center said that, that they do not rent out for monthly guitars left-handed they do not guitars left-handed they do not rent out left-handed guitars and sam mash didn't have any left-handed guitars in stock to begin with so i'm like why is it that there is no left-handed guitar models there's not enough of them okay we get that everybody's right-handed but there are some left-handed players too be fair honey include inventory for everybody i thought these stores were supposed to be made for everybody the only places i've seen that has most selection for left-handed guitars is Schecter. So shout out to Schecter for thinking for everybody, thinking about everybody. Jackson does have left-handed guitars, and I'm getting my guitar from Jackson, but they only have like eight models. Like, come on, like, we want we want to play too? Like, we want options too? Like, what's going on? I hope to have my own um, guitar line, and it's going to be strictly left-handed. Let me tell y'all what happened. So I was calling around different guitar places trying to find out if someone was going to let me rent out a guitar until I'd be able to buy it out fully on my own. So to make a long story short, there was this place, uh, this guitar shop that supposedly sell Jackson's, and I called them. He was like basically telling me you shouldn't even want to play a left-handed guitar if you're not playing yet. He was like, as a beginner, you should try playing on the violin or cello or make yourself play like a right-handed person. He was just basically knocking being left-handed. I'm like, oh my gosh, no. But that was the advice he was giving me. He was like, you don't want to play as a left-handed guitarist because, which I understand the reasons behind what he was saying, but it was wrong, honey, because no. But he was saying, because it's so hard to find left-handed guitars, which is true. And he was saying, like, if you wanted to play with someone else, like supposedly at your friend's house, it's going to be harder you're not going to find a left-handed guitar model over there. So, you know, you got to bring your left-handed model because they're so rare. There's not a lot of left-handed... Sorry, that was a car. There's not a lot of left-handed guitar models available, which I understand. So, to him, he thinks it's better if left-handed people play right for that reason. And for me, I'm like, no, honey. I'm not a right-handed guitarist. Never want to be, never will be. So, I'm going to find my way. So... I guess I just gotta wait, guys. I just gotta wait till I either get that Jackson or get a Schecter. I want a Jackson because I saw how the Jackson guitar plays on Instagram and YouTube. This particular one, I seen people playing it and I love the way it sounds. So I'm gonna have a Jackson left-handed model. But then I started thinking when he said that, to be honest with you, I was like, well, maybe I can do what Jimi Hendrix did and flip that right-handed guitar upside down and change strings, whatever. But that's just too much when I could just buy a left-handed model at an affordable price if i just wait because doing all that flipping and stuff like that 
that's probably going to wind up being way more than what I'm trying to what I'm trying to pay for it in the beginning anyway for what I'm trying to pay for my guitar that I want anyway I might as well get a left-handed guitar and you know that's just what I want to play and I don't know but guys I just want to say that stick to what you want to do and it doesn't matter how hard it is worth it so and I like a challenge so that's nothing okay and then on top of that what happened was so my coworker, I was telling her about the kind of music I like and it's so nice to find people that like the same type of stuff that you do and she recommended to me this rock band heavy metal rock band called firewind and the guitarist is gus g and on the vocals is apollo and let me tell you they blew me away i wasn't expecting to like them because i'm like oh my gosh she keeps asking me. i'm gonna do it i really love their sound it's like a melodic vocal coming from a heavy metal um, band it's just really different and extraordinary and i'm like oh my gosh it makes me wish I could produce vocals like that. You know, you never know. I love practice, a little training. But I'm just so happy that she gave me that band to look into because now I like a couple of their songs and I added them to my playlist. So, yeah. So, guys, that's all I wanted to let you guys know what was going down today on April the 20th, 2019. Thank you guys so much for listening. And we still rocking on. Pow, pow, pow. Love you so much. Girl Guitar over and out.